What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Yami Noob. Today we are actually going to be talking about motorcycle communicators. I've gotten a lot of DMs and comments about them lately, despite being a wonderful model here for it. Lots of comments and DMs lately about what it is, why you should get one, uh, what's going on with them, and so today we're answering all those questions. Let's jump in. A motorcycle communicator is an essential add-on to your riding experience. We here at Yami Noob choose Cardo and Cardo chooses us. The reason being is that Cardo is the original motorcycle communicator system. They literally invented the tech that is used. It's a simple to install plug and play system that will allow you to listen to music while you ride, take phone calls, and most importantly, chat with your riding buddies while you're out on the road. Although it can seem a bit daunting to choose a particular unit, we're gonna walk through some of the key features of these systems today and why you might want one over the other. As a side note, Cardo does support and sponsor the channel, but even if they didn't, they're the comm system that I would use. Okay, so the first communicator I wanted to start out with today was the Big Bad Pack Talk Bold. This is the one that Yami and I use when we are going and doing our dual vlogs. It's the one that is basically the little soldier of the Yami Noob Inc. here. It's a great little detachable piece, so you don't have to bring your helmet into your room when you charge it. And again, it's the one that we use all the time. Now, why would you want this unit here? Well, aside from being the biggest and baddest thing they have, it also has the DMC mesh connection, which is really the big selling point on this unit here. The call quality is way better on this than when you use Bluetooth. The range is a little bit better, and it's just so seamless. Every time we turn these on to go shoot, yams and mine just automatically pair up and we're ready to get going. If we get a little bit far apart from each other, as soon as we get back in range, they just automatically repair, which is awesome. You don't have to fiddle with it. You don't have to pull over. You don't have to do any of that good stuff. Now, as for range, the actual number is something like 1,600 meters, and that's, they claim, in perfect conditions. They also claim it, it's about 1,000 meters. Uh, in reality, I find it to be a little bit less, but when you compare it to something like the Senna, which I used to have, that thing fell apart at like 300 feet. So this is definitely an improvement, especially if you have a lot of people. It, the way the dynamic mesh connection works is it basically turns everyone into a chain. So if you have somebody who's a mile away, but you have a bunch of people in between, the guy in the back can talk just as easy to the guy in the front. So another cool thing is number of riders that you can have on this is like 15, but I think you can get it up maybe a little bit more. I don't know exactly what the number is, Honestly, it's gonna be quite a conversation if you have that many people in one group all with all these on there. So, uh, you know, and our use case, three to four people, absolutely perfect. Now I wanted to move on to the Slim, which I have right here, and this is actually my personal helmet. This is the Showies, my vlogging helmet. It's what I use when I go out and film, but this is the one that I wear on the street all the time. And the Slim, the best part about it is how low profile it is. It's got all the same goodies, except it's not really detachable. The best part is the battery's back here, so it's not sticking outside of the helmet. And you might not realize it, but having a big chunky thing on the side here, you actually do feel it when you're riding. If you turn your head either way, you'll actually feel a little bit of wind resistance, which is why I like this nice slim design. Uh, fitment is a little bit more helmet specific, the Pack Talk Bold will fit on anything under the sun. The Slim, you actually do need to get a helmet that will fit the Slim. So that's something to consider. So another great thing about both of these systems is how long they last. They last forever, like 13 hours on a single charge. And that's more than any one ride you're ever gonna take. I've actually, I don't remember the last time I've charged this helmet and I'm about to wear it today and I guarantee you it's gonna last through the rest of the afternoon. If you're worried about charge time on a Cardo, you really don't need to be worried. You just plug it in overnight and it's good for like a week. Another really cool thing about these Cardos is they're waterproof. They have like a setup at a show where it's just sitting in a bucket ready to connect to other stuff. They also will return your unit if you, you know, drive through Niagara Falls with the little battery cover open and it gets wet. They'll cover you for it. So if you're on a little bit more of a budget like I was and I was picking my Cardo unit, there's always the numbered options for the Freecom. So what I went with was the 4 Plus, which as you can see right here. I used to have the 2 Plus, but that can only connect with one other person, and the 1 Plus doesn't connect with anybody. The 4 Plus, though, can connect with four other riders through Bluetooth. 
Now the 4 Plus, it's a little bit thicker than the 1 Plus and the 2 Plus, but it gives you the option for a nice kind of click feedback on the volume control, and it has a better battery life, it's 13 hours. Now the Freecom series across all models can connect for music and calls, but the 4 can connect also to radio if you wanted that on your ride as well. So this is my personal helmet, and I've had this unit on here before I even started working here, before you sponsored you know, channel or anything like that. This has always been my unit of choice. This has always been my brand of choice. I looked at Senna, I looked at the third parties. This seemed like the best option with all the specs they include. And it just it's a great option for both budget and for just usability. So now that we looked at the different options, let's see what they're like in action. Alrighty, everybody. We are now mounted up. Well, you guys are you looking like you're ready to go. Yep, man, it's hot, let's go. Don't wanna stop moving. Um, so this is one of the coolest things about owning a communicator system. Everybody can talk while you ride. And also, for example, Andrew's actually riding the Triumph Street Triple for his very first time today. And it's fun to get a real-time reaction when someone's checking out a motorcycle versus, like, off the bike, after the ride type of stuff. Um, and it's just nice to be able to chat with your buddies while you ride if you got something coming up ahead or something's going on. So I think the communicator system, in my humble opinion, is, uh... Kind of an essential. What do you guys think? Oh, 100%. Absolutely, definitely you need to have a communicator. Yeah. Uh, even if even if you don't have somebody you're riding with, just having a uh, having the ability to play some music is next level. So. Yeah, I mean, I bought the system years ago just because of that. When I would go on long rides, you know, it, being able to listen... I mean, I listen to podcasts in my helmet when I'm, like, on longer rides and stuff. It's just like you're in your car, basically. But talking yesterday was, like, the first time I was ever in a group ride using them, and it was so fun just to be able to talk, communicate the whole way and, like, make inside jokes or whatever about what we were seeing along the ride. You don't have to wait till a stoplight to pull up and talk to each other about it and things like that, too. But Yeah, 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 it's really nice. Um, I remember the first time I used the communicator, it was, like... I don't know. It was like a whole new world kind of opened up, you know? Yep. I was like, whoa, I can hear my buddies while I ride. Now that's cool. And I got to hear you jokers while I ride. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, also, in case you're unfamiliar with the Yammy Noob channel, these two motorcycles, we're giving them away. They've already, at this point, by the time this video comes out, yeah, the sweeps is over, but we haven't given them away yet. We've got a ton more bikes coming. It's going to be awesome. This is our giveaway Yamaha R1. Look how sexy this thing is. Listen to how amazing it sounds. <laughs> Spicy boy. <laughs> Let's do this. Why don't you lead out, Captain Fast Boy? One of the best cases of a communicator is telling people, for example, when you're going to go at an intersection or if you're going to run a yellow light or if you're going to do something, etc., etc. I think it's uh, a nice thing to be able to tell your buddies what you're trying to do. As of right now, let's go. So one thing I wanted to bring up as well is even though today's video obviously is sponsored by Cardo and they do support the channel, um, both of you individually before started working at Yami Noob um, had Cardos, is that right? Yeah, uh, I had the Pack Talk Slim. Yeah, I had the Pack Talk Slim because I used to have a Cena and it was okay. Um, it worked fine when you were by yourself, but I had the 20S and it was a pain in the butt to pair up with anything, including other Cenas. Yeah, uh, the the app works like one every four times, one out of every four times, and you know it's really nice to be able to not have to memorize button combos and stuff, and just use the app to pair up. And I mean, you and I never have to pair up again because both of our cardos are now sunk up, and we can just you know every time we turn them on, they're just ready to rock and roll. Yeah, definitely. And then Andrew, you had a, a Freecom Four, right? Yeah, so this is my Freecom 4 I've had for a little while now, and before that I had the Freecom 2. Uh, but yeah, both have always been on my helmet pretty much as, since I started riding. Yeah, and it's I mean, it's one of those things where like, I remember when we started our partnership with Cardo back in 2018, um, I remember looking into them and I was like, oh, these guys like invented the motorcycle communicator system, like they have to be good, you know, and sure enough, I started trying out the product and I was like, dang, this is like way better than Cena stuff. Um, yeah, it's really, really great. 
Um, and it's also nice too how like kind of you, Andrew, you picked the Freecom 4 because you didn't need the dynamic mesh at the time and you just wanted to listen to music and pair it via Bluetooth and it worked just fine for you, yeah? Yeah, and honestly, most of my buddies when I was living in Seattle didn't have them. So I thought there really wasn't a point to having one that could communicate like intercom to intercom because no one else had it. So, but yeah, just using it for music in general and for calls was really nice. That's another thing that is really nice going from the Senna to the Cardo is I, before I joined the Yami Noob team, I was definitely taking a lot of business calls while riding my motorcycle and people thought it sounded better out of my helmet at 70 miles an hour than it did when I was sitting in my office. You know, it's a real testament. Like, <laughs> yeah, people are like, damn, you sound, like, what, what headset are you using? You sound like you're, you know, you sound really good on, on the call. And I'm like, I'm just on my motorcycle right now. Yeah, so, I love that. So, business people. If you want to sound good on your phone call, all you need to do is put a Cardo on a helmet and then wear it when you're at your desk. Yep. That's another use case for the Cardo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just really nice to be able to chat with your buddies while you ride. It's, I, I think it's one thing I remember I used to ride and, you know, just go with my buddies and then we'd stop at a gas station kind of catch up on what happened in the ride. But, you know, like for example, like we were out yesterday filming the video that's coming out on Friday. And uh, we had that situation with the deer, right? Mm-hmm. And it would have been so different if none of us had been on a communicator system when that happened versus being on a comm system and being like, oh shit, deer, deer, and then like joking about it and laughing about it later, you know? Yep. And as somebody who rides constantly in a big group without everyone who's linked up, it, it can be kind of boring, actually. Yeah. It feels very isolated. Mm-hmm. So I, a big question I think I get a lot about comms is, uh, oh, is it going to be like distracting or, you know, is it going to be, um, you know, like detrimental to my riding? But honestly, like I've never found that being able to just talk into my helmet and have someone else talk back to me has ever been distracting in any way, really. What do you guys feel? No, it hasn't really bothered me. Not at all. I mean, maybe for beginners, if you're starting out, it's really important to just focus on riding and honing your skills like then. But once you've experienced for a few months or so, I think it can really you know just become something that's second nature scooting around on a leader bike so fun. i'm sure you're just like having so much fun right behind this subaru <laughs> yeah i love being on a 200 horsepower missile in first gear behind a Subaru. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world i'm a big man now all right guys we're gonna keep on rocking and rolling here on this group ride um, but just wanted to remind you all that if you are considering a communicator system, we do have a Yami Noob link down below. You can click that and use the code and get yourself 20% off. And we do get a lot of questions. People are always like, oh, how do you in spite do those dual vlogs and all that stuff? And now how do you do the, the triple vlogs? Um, and it's because uh, we have Cardos. We can all talk to each other and it's pretty easy to sync up and, and use. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep on rolling on this group ride. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, you adorable little squid. Thanks for watching the video. Why don't you click on this one right here and keep watching? Don't worry, I'll wait. Just like this. Click the video. Do it now. <laughs>